Here's why even though I don't have thousands or millions of subscribers, I'm still calling myself a YouTuber. I've tried to start many things in the past before and very often I've given it up. I came up with excuses like, I don't have time, I'll do it later. But deep down inside, it was really because I wanted the results now. I basically wanted to reap the rewards now rather than sow the seeds. And if I did sow the seeds and I didn't get the results quick enough, then I'd just give up. But with YouTube, it's been a little bit different. My name is Himmel, I'm from Melbourne. And when we had our first lockdown last year, I successfully watched four seasons of Lucifer in about a week. Oh, I should get a term. <laughs> Devil bunnies. Oh no, Lucy fans. Can you please? Oh no. Which at the time felt so good, but I knew I wouldn't be able to keep this up, especially during the second lockdown, given that it was going to be so long. I was gaining a lot of weight, I wasn't eating healthy enough, I was becoming extremely lazy, and my mental state was basically in shambles. And so when our second lockdown hit, I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity for me to actually start doing something that I've thought about for a while, but I've just been putting off for who knows how long. This is the time that I thought that I would take advantage of the situation and start a YouTube channel. Now I mainly started for three reasons. I was bored because lockdown. It was a method of me putting myself out there so it could turn into a vehicle for serendipity. And three, perhaps one day in the far future, I'll make money from it. Now I know myself well enough to know that those three reasons wasn't going to be enough for me to push through all the difficult times that a lot of YouTubers have. Like to start YouTube and then to be on the grind for so long, sometimes even years, takes a lot of effort. And I knew that those three reasons weren't going to be enough for me to stay on the grind, where especially when I knew that my views weren't going up, that my subscriber count wasn't going to go up. And so I thought about what if I just called myself a YouTuber? What if I started identifying with the identity of being a YouTuber? And so how would this make it any different from anything else that I've started before? Well, here's the thing. When I first started calling myself a YouTuber, it was extremely nerve wracking. I told my friends, I told my family, and it was like, oh, well now I have no choice but to do it. Because I said it, it added an element of like realness. It's like I said it out loud, and all of a sudden the universe is now holding me accountable to the identity of being a YouTuber. And so what does a YouTuber do? A YouTuber comes up with the ideas, drafts the scripts, shoots the video, shoots second parts of the video, edits the video, uploads it and publishes it on YouTube. And so now I have identified with that identity that does all those things. And so that is what has kept me going this whole time. It wasn't about the views, the subscribers, about the likes, of course, those are nice things. Like I'm not gonna deny the fact that vanity metrics, they do make you feel good. But it wasn't about that anymore. It's like, this is who I am. This is what I do now. And so now I've just gotta do it. And so how can this help you? Well, start thinking about what you wanna become rather than what you want to do. Ask yourself this question. What do I want to be? And whatever your answer is to that, try identifying with it. So for example, instead of thinking about running so you can get fit, start identifying as a runner. Rather than wanting to play the guitar, start identifying as a guitarist. Trust me, give that a go this week and it changes so many things because it no longer ends up being about the action. It no longer ends up being about the result. It just ends up being about you, the identity and you doing the things that are associated with that identity and that's that completely changes so many different things because it's almost like as if now you want to master it. It's like, you just want to get better at it because it's like, this is what you do now. This is, this is, this is who you are. Anyway, good luck. If you haven't already like the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you very soon.